ever wanted your face to look younger and more well rested. Well, now there's a way to turn back the clock without lasers or surgery. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us about a procedure involving your teeth. This sounds interesting, Dr. Max. Yeah, that's right. It sounds a little unusual, but listen, as a face ages, skin sags, of course, but that's mostly caused by the loss of volume, less fat in the face. We also tend to lose tiny amounts of bone and tooth height which makes the lower face sag even more. Now a simple piece of plastic can restore some of that lost facial youth. To say that Irene Narisi was a stunning beauty in her youth would be an understatement, but the years and gravity have a way of taking their toll. My face was starting to look like it was going south. You know, it was looking tired. And I looked into the mirror one day and I said, I've got to do it. It was a facelift with Dr. Thomas Romo, which did wonders, but there was still something the surgery didn't fix. Irene has a loss of height from her bite, which is shown because she cannot even see her lower teeth. Fillers would help some, but... You can do filler anytime you want to, but the problem is, is that if you have the loss of the architecture, then you're going to tend to overfill. Overfilling is expensive, and as In Touch magazine recently showed, can lead to the so-called trout pout. So how to restore that lost lower face length from bottom of nose to tip of chin? That's where dentist Dr. Michael Gelb comes in. And this is something that goes inside the patient's mouth and raises up the patient's own teeth. So it's the patient's own anatomy. It just gives the patient more height. The process called Juvabite starts with precise 3D scans of the patient's teeth, which gets milled into a clear bite plate that goes over the lower teeth. Kristen Mackey showed us how Juvabite lengthens her lower face. Dr. Gelb measured the difference as a full quarter inch. You like it? I love it. It's made my lips look less pouty, mm -hmm. so it's opened my jaw. Once the jaw is in a more youthful position, Dr. Romo can then add just the right amount of filler to achieve the desired natural look. Here's Irene before and after Juvabite. She likes it so much. You get used to it. After a couple of days, uh, you know, I got used to it. Now I'm wearing it all the time, and I don't even know I, I have it in. So what about the cost? Well, the Juvabyte system includes the evaluation of how much added height you need, the 3D measurement and milled bike plate, and up to two syringes of filler, which are expensive all by themselves. Total cost just under four thousand dollars. At so, price beauty. So I know they have like those clear like things to uh, almost like braces. Yeah, but they it's like an Invisalign, only yes, it's just for the I lower. Mean. It's just for the lower part, and it's really just meant to add a little bit of height mm -hmm. to the teeth, so that it lengthens that so, little part of the face and takes a little bit of this sagging. Mm -hmm. away. So it's similar to that. Is there pain involved? <laughs> no, no pain. That, okay. that part's completely painful. Right. Maybe the little Good. shot of the filler, but otherwise no pain. Nothing to even discuss here. Yeah. Just, just saying. I'm just wondering. Just saying. I'm trying Thanks. to get answers for our viewers. I know. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Conduit here. Uh, <laughs>